Hey guys, even here, the Tampa Pro is coming up this weekend and a lineup is super stacked. It's going to be one of the best competitions in this whole year. The quality of contenders is really high, I mean it's gonna be Mr. Olympia, Arnold Classic and then Tampa probably. But I'd say Tampa Pro is probably even more exciting than Arnold Classic was. Anyways, one of the favorites to win it is Dexter Jackson. And there was some confusion, some people thought that he's actually not competing. Of course, it's just a rumor, he wasn't on the first list, but now on this updated list, Dexter is there, so you guys don't need to worry, he will show up, it's gonna be a great show. Now the question is, can Dexter win this title? Because this would be his 29th title, he won 28 pro shows, he wants to win Tampa, because he never won Tampa before, and then another show, maybe even Mr. Olympia, that would make 30 pro wins, which would be crazy. And no, I don't think he would retire after that. As he said, as long as he's tracking the top 5 at the Mr. Olympia, he will keep competing. Last year he was 7th, but he did not have Charles Glass in his corner. And George Farah was also 6th, so he didn't have his dietitian in his corner, nor his trainer, so he was a little bit off. But this year he decided to give it another shot. If he can crack the top 5 this year, which is very possible, he will keep competing. He may even win the goddamn thing. But let's talk about Tampa now, I mean, that's, that's the more relevant show. And uh, can he win it? Basically, we didn't get any new physique updates from him and uh, we know that his issue is symmetry in his arms. His left bicep seemed very asymmetrical last year. And as you can see right here, this is quite recent training video, you can see that his biceps are looking pretty symmetrical. I mean, that was his weakness since ever, you know, that didn't happen just last year, but last year it was very visible, very prominent, but now it looks like he improved it. Another flaw that he had last year was the size of his legs. His legs weren't looking as full and as big as they could be, as they were, and as they should be. But at the Pitbull Pro, he had a guest pose, and uh, I noticed that his legs were looking much bigger. As you can see right here in this video, his legs look much improved, much improved. So I don't think the size of his legs is going to be his problem. As you can see right here, his left arm is looking a little bit smaller, but Basically, he's looking super impressive. <laughs> Guys, don't even think about how old he is, because that's the most insane part. He's almost 50. Turning 50 this November. I would just never say so. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about this, but apparently it's true. And now, let's go back to the question. Can he win Tampa Pro? Well, this is Dexter Jackson we're talking about. I mean, many people signed him off so many times, and every time he came back and looked better than the previous year. So I think, I'm pretty sure that he's going to look better this year than he looked last year. But is that going to be enough to win the show? And I would say the next best bodybuilder, the one who will challenge Dexter the most, and in my opinion, beat him, is Luke Sando. And this right here is Luke's most recent physique update. For a white boy, he is 3D as hell. <laughs> Just take a look at those muscle bellies, the length of those biceps and triceps, Many people compare him to Dorian, and you know, Dorian probably had better and more defined, way more defined back, more crispier physique overall, but he wasn't as complete as Luke. He didn't have this kind of arms, for example, and arms are definitely very important, probably more important than you guys can think. They give you really the illusion of having an impressive physique, and uh, Luke does have that. He has an amazing set of arms, he's very symmetrical, very proportional. I would say the only problem that he has is the control of his stomach and whether he's gonna come perfectly peaked. So that's the only thing, I mean, his stomach can be controlled because he can pull the vacuum, but it's just a matter of how well can he control it during the poses and the transitions. And if he's in great shape, he can do it, I'm sure. I don't know if he practiced enough, but I know he can do it. It's just a matter of will he practice that enough. And the other thing is conditioning. Can he come conditioned? Yes, he can. We saw that at this Arnold Classic 2019 when he took third place, beating Rolly Winkler, for example, and Cedric McMillan. But later at Indy Pro, he wasn't at his sharpest, and he was a little bit bloated. He was having troubles controlling his stomach, and that's why he took like fourth place. He was beaten by many other guys. So it's just a matter of how good he picks. And if he picks perfectly, he's young, he's fresh. I think his chances of winning the show are better than those of Dexter. But hey, Dexter Jackson is Mr. Genetics. He has all the muscles on the perfect places. He has that pop to every single muscle of his. He has an amazing shape. 
it's only the question of is age taking the toll on his body. So if he comes the way he was a couple of years ago, the way he was not in 2018, but in 2017, for example, I think if he comes like that or like this, like this, I mean, he was looking insane, freaking insane in 2016, Arnold Classic Spain, where he beat Big Ramy, who was like 40 kilos bigger than him. And guys, this is only three years ago, so I think it's possible for him to bring something like this. And if he does do that, Luke will just have no chance against him. He doesn't have this kind of genetics, because this is like one of the best genetics in the history of the world. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Just look at this and admire it. Because what else can you do? What else can you do? I mean, you cannot even describe how good his genetics are. I mean, I like to draw, I like to draw, and uh, I drew all kinds of crazy physiques. I invented muscles that don't exist, but I would never be able to draw something like this. This is even crazier than my imagination goes. Uh, look at this, look at the details on his back. So much muscle, so many details. The crisp skin conditioning. He's much smaller than most guys. I mean, he's not small, but he's much smaller than most of them. Like Big Ramy was 40 kilos, that's like 100 pounds heavier than him at this show. But he beat him with his details. I mean, Dexter is known for these details because he's sharp as a blade. And if he brings something similar to this, he will win the Tampa Pro. And then maybe even the Mr. Olympia. Maybe even Mr. Olympia, that's right, maybe. And if you ask me who has the next biggest chance to win this show or just simply place third, I would say that's Hassan Mostafa. I really like this guy's physique because it is freaky. It's very freaky. Sure, he does have a couple of weak points. For example, his waist could be a little bit smaller. His uh, lats should be a little bit wider. But the development is there. His arms are super full. His chest is a little bit separated in the middle. But the, 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 the details, you know, the lines all over it and everything just makes it look super impressive. And it's very full as well. His back, not the widest though, but the lats are thick as hell. And those legs. Those legs are one of the best legs in the world right now. Yep, I think so. I think those are the best, one of the best quads we have seen in a while. So full, so shredded when he gets sharp. Spot on, spot on. Just very, very good top-notch wheels. Here you can see him standing next to Derek Lansford, who's also a freak. But when he's standing next to this guy, he doesn't look that impressive. And here you can look at him. And you look at him standing on his own. You can think that he can win 2019 Open Mr. Olympia, right? But not really. I mean, when he stands next to the Open guys, he doesn't look that impressive. But on single photos, when he's alone, he looks freaking impressive, like perfect. Perfect. And, uh, you know, he's going to win 2019 to 12 Mr. Olympia. Not the Open, of course, because he's super short. But can he win 212 2019 Mr. Olympia? I don't think that's even doubtable at this point. The only person that can challenge him is uh, Hari Chopin, of course. But if Hari just gets the visa, I'm sure he will do the Open, not 212. The next very big name at this show is going to be Ian Valier. And as you can see, Ian is looking freaking impressive, for sure. But only in a couple of poses. I mean, I would rather say in a couple of poses, he looks horrible. For example, side chest, very good pose for him. Side triceps as well. Front lat spread, not perfect, but he looks huge on it. And he is a huge bodybuilder. But poses like back lat spread, back double bicep, front double bicep are hurting him a lot. And I don't think this guy has a chance to win the show. No way. He can be top three at the best. And uh, based on points, he can probably qualify for the Mr. Olympia because he's done so many shows by this point. Ian is coached by Matt Jensen, just like Nathan Diasha is. And just like this guy right here is Charles Griffin. And Charles has also the chance to crack the top three, not do much better than that. He's super muscular, he's a freak, but he has a couple of glaring weaknesses. And basically you can see them all in this pose right here. So a blown up waist, horribly asymmetrical and uh, unproportional abs, just a huge mess of a stomach and the same thing is with his quads not the most aesthetic quads, and the outer sweep is missing. The details in his inner thighs are also lacking, so his quads and his stomach are hurting him a lot, and for that reason he will not place better than top 3 at the most. But he does have many very good poses and good muscles. For example, his back is crazy, very wide, very thick. 
Also, his side tricep was very good. He doesn't have best hamstrings, but the upper body is looking crazy. Most muscular, same thing. He shows a lot of muscularity, a lot of density. Side chest as well. Although you cannot see his nipple, everything else is looking crazy impressive. Another great contender, and I would say this guy has bigger chances than all of these guys to beat third spot. I don't think he can beat Dexter or Luke, but he can beat third spot, I would say. Even though his structure is not ideal, he has a lot of muscle, a lot of density and great conditioning most of the time. Almost always. I mean, he's known for having perfect conditioning pretty much at every show. And yeah, his name is Lucas Osladil. Another very good competitor is Milan Shadek. So that's how you pronounce his last name, Shadek, not Sadek. This guy is dieting for way too long at this point. And I don't think his body will respond ideally at this show. But maybe somehow he gathers enough points to compete to Mr. Olympia, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think he is just a little bit smaller than most of these guys, but he was great at the New York Pro. He had great conditioning. We'll see. Anything is possible. Now we also have this guy, Joel Thomas. <laughs> this guy is graininess all day. I mean, look at how grainy and how ripped he is. He's hard. He's like carved out of stone. And for that reason, he has very good chances to surprise us, but his structure is not ideal. I mean, the shape of his quads, also the shape of his back, not perfect, but look at these shots, his chest, <laughs> one of the best chests ever. Probably one of the best chests ever, but it's not about one pose or two poses, we're gonna see what weaknesses does he actually have at the stage, so look at the back. I think that's his weakness, but we'll see how it looks on the stage. Now, that's gonna make your top 8, most likely, but we don't know, maybe somebody else is gonna show up and surprise us, but based on the competitors that we saw already competing and based on their results, this is most likely to happen, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be Luke Sando, I think he's gonna win it, but if Dexter shows up fresh, he can take it as well, it's gonna be between these two guys, as far as third spot, third spot I would say most likely Hassan Mustafa, then probably Charles Griffin, then maybe Lucas, Osladil, then Ian Valier, then Milan Sadek, and in the end, Joel Thomas. And while I'm making this video, while I'm talking right here, Tampa Pro is already happening and Classic Physique is going on currently. And Logan Franklin, previous men's physique competitor, is competing as a Classic Physique guy. He's having his Classic Physique debut. And as you can see, he looks great. Very aesthetic, small waist, vacuum on point, details are there. Maybe a little bit smaller than most of the Classic Mr. Olympia guys. But still, very fluent, very good, very good looking physique, very aesthetic physique. And I'm gonna make probably a special video on this, only about Logan Franklin transitioning to classic. Also, in 212 category, we have Guy Cisternino, who after he made his comeback looked much better than before, actually. He's known for his legs, especially for his quads, but he's not as much known for his back. Based on this photo right here, he looks improved. He's gonna be battling Zane Watson, who already won a pro show and qualified for the Mr. Olympia, However, Guy Cisternino did not do that. He still needs to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. We'll see what happens with that, and I'm gonna report on it as soon as it happens, so stay tuned, subscribe! Hey guys, for the end of this video, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Old School Labs for sending me this care package right here. So they sent me a bunch of supplements, and a shaker, and a t-shirt, and they didn't ask me to tell you about it, they didn't ask me for any favors, I mean, they are represented by Don Platz and Smir Bernut, it's a huge company, and I just tasted this whey protein, and I can tell you, it is freaking awesome, it's delicious. And uh, I don't know about the price, I got it for free, you can check it out, but I can tell you, it tastes amazing. So, a huge thank you to Old School Labs for supporting me. You know how we bodybuilders are, we love supplements more than anything. And uh, ever since I started working out, I was obsessed by them, but I never really had money to buy a lot of them. When I would get to a supplement store, I would be like a kid, you know, wanting to buy everything, but I couldn't afford it. So now I got a whole package for free. So thank you very much, Old School Labs, once again. And I'm looking forward to working with you in the future, maybe. That would be awesome. You're a huge company and uh, you have a lot of integrity, so... I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video. And if you want to see more, subscribe. You know what to do. All the best. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry. And yeah, tell me what you think about Tampa Pro. Tell me who you think is going to win it in the open. Is it going to be Dexter? Is it going to be Luke or somebody else? Whatever you think, tell me down below. Don't forget to like the video once again and to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future content coming up every single day. All the best, guys. Bye-bye once again. <laughs>